friends. Hey friends. Hey friends, it's me and Lana. Welcome back to my channel. You're all you are all some flowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alana and for this video I wanted to do just a fun video on five books I want to hopefully get to this summer. So it's pretty much the end of May when I'm filming this and I consider June kind of the start of the summer because that's when classes usually would end and that's just like when the weather usually starts warming up. Uh, this year turn it has turned out to be slightly weird. But anyways, I'm still going to count it as the beginning of summer. So, I pulled five books that I would like to try to get to this summer. Either because I've heard that, that they're pretty good or because it's something I've been wanting to get to for a while. So I'm going to go ahead and start talking to you about the books. So the first book I have that I would totally love to get to this summer is... House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Moss. Um, this is the first book in her Crescent City series, duology trilogy. I don't know what it's going to be, but series. Um, I have heard, actually, I've heard, like, kind of mostly good things, but I've heard some weird things about this book, too. But I'm still kind of excited to see how I feel. I don't really read much adult fantasy, but I'm willing to give this a shot because it sounds really interesting. Uh, I don't remember fully what it's about, but I think it's about, like, a girl trying to get revenge for her friend who was killed or something like that, so I'm just gonna go with that. Um, I don't really want to know too many details just because I kind of want to go in blind, so I don't know, like, too much going in. That way I can stay surprised and stuff because... Sometimes I like to go into series without knowing things, especially fantasy series. So, yeah, I hope I can get to this this summer. It's a big chunker, but honestly, I feel like it could it could be good. Plus, this cover is just beautiful. Like, I just love that. Um, but yeah, so super excited to get this. I don't know if I'm really a Sarah J. Moss fan or not. I've read Throne of Glass, and I thought it was good. But it wasn't like my all-time favorite. And I do want to continue that series as well. So I'm excited to see if I read this. Maybe if she becomes a favorite or not. So we'll see. The next book I have is A Heart in a Body in the World by Deb Coletti. So I have been wanting to read this since it came out. And I think it came out last year. Maybe the year before. I cannot remember specifics. But once I saw the paperback cover of this, I was like, this is gorgeous. And I still really want to read this because I feel like I've heard such good things about it. And I feel like it's really going to, like, hit me with all the feels. So I definitely hope to pick this up. I'm going to be honest, I don't know anything about this book um, besides all the good things I've heard about it. And I kind of want to keep it that way because normally with books like this where it's a, like a really hard-hitting contemporary, I kind of like to go in with the least amount of knowledge because I feel like that gives me more of an authentic like reaction and more authentic emotions when I'm experiencing the story for the first time. So I kind of want to keep it that way. But I'm really excited to hopefully get to this. All right, the next book is uh, Arch Enemies by Marissa Meyer. <laughs> I read Renegades, I fell in love with the characters and the story, so I'm hoping to pick this up this summer because I really want to know what happens next, especially with the way Renegades ended. It ended on a really surprising note, which it wasn't that surprising because I still kind of guessed it, but it was still like, oh my gosh, what's going to happen next kind of surprising, so I'm kind of excited to see what goes on in this next book for Nova and Adrian and just kind of see what else could really happen and kind of go wrong. I did not expect to love this trilogy as much as I have so far, but I'm thoroughly enjoying it and I'm really excited to get to this one. So I'm hoping that I'll just get into a mood and then I'll just pick it up. 
or I'll just like remember to pick it up. I don't know, but super excited. In case you don't know, this is the second book in the Renegades trilogy. The first book is called Renegades. It's about a girl, Nova, and a boy, Adrian, who both grew up in the world uh, that is ruled by the Renegades, but is wanting to be taken over by the anarchists. And so it's kind of the idea of like superheroes versus supervillains. And so Nova is on the side of the, like she was raised by the supervillains and Adrian was raised by the superheroes. But throughout the story, you're seeing these worlds through their eyes and learning that uh, there's just so much complexity behind it. Like it's not just black and white, it's, it's so much more. And so that's kind of what the story is about. And I don't want to give too many details because I don't want to risk the chance of giving you any spoilers. But I really loved it. And I thought it was like an amazing story. And I fell in love so hard with Nova and Adrian. So I'm just really excited to see how they how it's done in this one. Next book I have. And I realized that uh, only one of these books is a contemporary. The rest are fantasies. So that's shocking because I'm more of a contemporary person and not a fantasy person. But I've been buying a lot of fantasy this year. So... So the next book is House of Dragons by Jessica Cluis. Okay, so as soon as I knew this was coming out, I put it on my TBR list because I really, really wanted it and I've been eyeing it. And as soon as it came out, I was at work and I grabbed it and I bought it because it's about dragons. I, that, that we don't have a lot of books coming out about dragons anymore. And so I'm so excited. So this kind of gives me uh, Six of Crows vibes almost. But I don't want to compare it to that because I haven't read it yet. But it gives me those vibes. Okay, I'm going to read you the synopsis for this because I don't want to butcher it because it sounds amazing. So, the Emperor is dead. And so the five houses of Etrusia must attend the calling where one of their own will be selected to fight for the throne. In this proud dragon empire, the oldest child of each house is always called the Golden Child. The one who has spent a lifetime preparing to compete in the glorious trial. But this year is different. This year, these five outcasts will be pitted against one another. The liar. Amelia must hide her terrifying powers or be put to death. The soldier. Lucian is a warrior who has sworn never to lift a sword again. The servant. Vesper is a dragon trainer. Her skills alone will keep her in the game. The thief. Ajax knows that nothing will be handed to him. He must take what he wants. And the murderer. Hyperia was born to rule. Nothing and no one will keep her from the throne. Let the battle begin. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm getting goosebumps just reading that. Okay, so it gives, it gives me Six of Crows slash Game of Thrones vibes, and I'm so here for it because dragons. And it just sounds amazing, and I'm kind of like super excited to see what happens. I believe this is gonna be a duology, so I think the author said the next book is coming out next year. I'm really, really hoping I can get to this this summer because dragons. All right. The last book I don't have physically, which is okay because I got an e-arc of it from Penguin Teen, which I'm so thankful for. So the last book I'm super excited to get to this summer is The Damned by Renee Audier. Oh my gosh, if you don't know, where have you been? So last year, The Beautiful came out by Renee Audier, which is the first book in this, I think it's a trilogy series, I don't know. But... <laughs> It's, it came out last year, so it's about a girl named Celine who moves to New Orleans and she gets thrown into the world of just vampires and and it's just not, it's not even New Orleans, it's like 1920s New Orleans or maybe a little bit later, sorry I can't remember dates for real, but the first book ended on such a like intense note that I cannot wait to read the second one. Like I think what I'm gonna do is reread the first one so I can get that out of the way and then read the second one because it comes out on July 7th. But I'm so excited to get this. I need to know what happens next with Celine and Bastion because they're like my babies and I need to know what happens. And I fell so in love with this story and I think everybody should just give it a chance to pick it up. And I'm just hoping The Damned is just as good, if not better. And I'm just so excited, especially because I have an e arc, so I'm like, I can get to it as soon as I can. And yeah, okay. 
I've been fangirling, but that's okay. Anyways, moving on, because I'm just going to keep rambling if I don't. <laughs> so yeah, those are the five books I'm hoping to get to this summer. Uh, please let me know what you're hoping to get to this summer. I love to know just what everybody wants to read or is reading or whatever. So definitely let me know. If you like the video, please like it down below. I can definitely do more of these. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, whether you've read some of these books or whether you're wanting to read some, please let me know down below. I want us to bond and commenting helps that. And if you are not good at commenting, I'm going to go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below. I'm stealing the idea from my friend Sylvia from Wish Fulfillment. And if you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe down below. You are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds.